Microphone. I'm watching the intro to get hyped because I'm um, finally at the part of the game I haven't seen before. Yes, the game is called Danganronpa Trigger Happy Heaven. Yeah, what is up everybody? Long time no see music girl. This is a Ricardo? Nope, not exactly. What's up, Metallica? Oh yeah, you guys haven't seen the video I announced it in yet, but uh, I'm trying to bait now. I don't have cigarettes, so... Um, this is the first thing I found that kind of feels like smoking a cigarette, is salt nicotine. So sorry if you think vaping is douchebaggy, I'm just trying to save money and not kill myself with cancer sticks. Looks like Persona. Uh, I mean, it's anime style, so... Very different from Persona, though. Yeah. Vape Nation. Yeah, exactly. Vaping only poisons the user. It really doesn't, it's not that bad for you. Nicotine's technically a carcinogen, but it's not got a lot of the other shit like freaking uh, radioactive stuff in it. Alright, so I checked to see where I left off at, and I left off at a good little part to kind of catch everyone up on. So if you're here for the first time, I have the other three or four parts of this up on the channel. You just have to go back and just search Renegade Media Group Danganronpa. You can find them pretty easy. You'll want to watch those first because this game is heavy on spoilers and you're about to see everyone who has died so far. So that's warning. You'll see everyone who has died so far. So if you don't want to see that right off the bat, then I recommend you go watch those first. But otherwise, let's go. So Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. And then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hifumi. And then she got executed. Uh, no, this game came out in 2010, actually, so it's uh, 10 years old now. It's got several sequels. Yeah, we're getting like towards the second half or later in the game, pretty much. Uh, Oxy knows all the spoilers, so she will probably time you out slash ban you if you spoil anything. If you do know what happens, so just keep that to yourself until it gets to those parts, please. Why do they have to kill Taka? He was good. I know, right? Uh, I'm actually really worried about basically everyone who's left except for probably Toko and Biafidia. Also, if you didn't notice, I added the uh, people we have left on the bottom of the screen. That brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Hmm. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Mm. Makoto, are you okay? Uh, d no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Can you guys hear me okay over the music, by the way? You like Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, they're alright. I like King of the Hill a little bit more, though. So what is this? Okay, basically, these kids went to the school. They passed out when they came in and woke up, and the whole school was blocked off with metal doors and 
metal sheets on the windows and stuff they can't get out they've been told that if they want to leave they have to murder one of their fellow classmates and get away with it it's like Phoenix Wright meets Saw meets uh, assassination classroom or something a prison school I don't know probably not prison school there's not enough boobs for it to be prison school Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? Because, I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting uh, fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you all cheer up, so let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? what? That's like a deep impact style meteor impact extinction level event combination of foods. Huh? What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. Also, if you can't tell, like, I'm not trying as hard on my voices this time. Like, I don't know. I think my best voice is Monokuma, and I'll try to do the Monokuma for you guys whenever he pops up. But I'm just trying to go because I don't honestly remember exactly what voices I was doing for everybody, so. So, we have to plan ahead to think about the future. It. Yeah, yeah, think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. You know? Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious, or I mean, reborn as someone for serious. Well... Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Huh? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits... I predicted it last night, since it revealed itself to me from the other. There's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30 percent on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. It's not like some occult well, mystery. Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap! I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. So, um... Fortune telling isn't occult? You got it all wrong! Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But and before long, the, end is nigh. the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy <laughs> beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. <laughs> what in the fuck? And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished. Well, the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. Stop drinking paint, hero. So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill and I totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef, they totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kinda got lost halfway through. <sighs> I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean! I stink- how dare you! <sighs> well, you do stink though. <clears throat> That's fine. <clears throat> That's fine? Um, anyway. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah! Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Or I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But... Well... To be honest, I wish Bakuya and Toko were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with, they only think about themselves. Uh, yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Oh, 
<laughs> so like you can't see me or something we began our research as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall we had to find out what had opened up what was waiting for us okay uh controls I don't remember. R switch. Assuming there's another floor. I'm turning my DPI down because that is ridiculous. Yeah. That's exactly what I play first person shooters in, so that would be easier to work with. I forget you have to click to go up the stairs. Buzz and Dank and Rambo, what kind of ultimate character would I be? Uh, I don't know. Probably the ultimate metal vocalist or something. It's like my vocals are like the only thing I'm super proud of in life, so. Were we up here before? Yeah, this is where the physics side is. Yeah, there's a fourth floor stairway. Now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Let's see. The music room, the headmaster's room, the office. There is a fifth floor. Somebody else is gonna die. I'm sure. That's what that means. Kin Lab. Data center. Let's see if the stairs are blocked on the fifth floor. That basically guarantees that somebody else has to die. Yep. Somebody else has to die, there will be another trial. I call it now. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom, it's more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So about the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah. Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was, and when I came to, the mountain of files and documents were all gone. I kinda forgot about that. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. That's fine. It's okay, we already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half suspected the Mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that it room. It would seem... What to attack you and steal everything in the room. That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the Mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance so... camera. I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hm. 
Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding Am something. Am I wrong? But that's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Mm. I'm just gonna tell her, because she can help me look into it. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, I could just make things that much worse. Okay, or, or not. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse, yeah, so I can't tell her. Sorry, I can't tell you, not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. However, but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. I'll just be like, I saw something, I don't have conclusive evidence, so I can't say anything until I have more evidence. That's what she should explain. With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. What's up, Q? How's it going, dude? Oh, hey, long time no see, Madison. I've been alright, man. Uh, surviving, basically. is the office, but of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. There's a flower on the desk, somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. say the same thing, but they might have coins on. picture another another one what Celeste Tofumi and Sayaka the smiling faces of three people who are dead now the classroom without metal plates over the windows it's exactly the same it's just like that picture I saw before there's no way this isn't important somehow They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. It's a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. Including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. You're fake! Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? you think the moon landing was fake too, come on! Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there were such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question, is this picture real or is it a fake? 
Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real. If that's true, if that's the case... What if they're in a simulation and when they die, they get taken back out of the simulation and then everything's all fine and dandy? Something I need to think about. I don't know if it's true, but... Plate on the door says headmaster's room. The headmaster's room, there must be something worthwhile in there. Oh, the door's locked. Damn it. What the fuck? I didn't press anything that time. The PC is being a jerk. This floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Just more coin searching, I guess. Good, the door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. What's behind the door is a total mystery. So I checked there. Can't get to the control room without getting in there. The chem lab is the last place I guess. What's up, Kaiser? How long I've been streaming? Uh, good question. Like 30 minutes? Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So, this is the kid lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. It's a remarkably big shelf that is stocked with all kinds of medicine. Right. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen, just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Uh, okay, you know, just chill out. 
There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have... Pro... <clears throat> Protein Zyme X? What the hell is that? Hey. High quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. But, oh, oh yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up on some more... Uh, load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. I don't have wine, but I have this much Jack Daniels. I'm gonna drink it, because why not? Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Mm. So, is this everyone? Well then... Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Mm. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor. It had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. So I had it's like a two shots worth of Jack Daniels. Now I'm out of alcohol. <sighs> Tasty. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. Yeah, I hear about the new Soul Calibur 5 DLC. I can't remember. Six. Yeah, six. I forgot there was a six. What's up, clumsy Matt? <laughs> Sakura is what happens when you take a third gummy vitamin. <laughs> that, that's funny. I gotta give you that one. Oh man, I'm gonna be too busy to watch this. Uh, sorry, Blue. And just uh, check back and uh, check out the VOD afterwards. And uh, especially if you haven't seen the first several. He always needs to have more aspirational prayers, right? Yeah, that's why I haven't played Dead or Alive because of their freaking ridiculous price DLC. You know, it's a babe. She's cute. And there is an all star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. Uh, I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um, there's also um, a bunch of different poisons. Poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. Um, and we probably shouldn't tell Byakuya or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well... Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... Just in case? Yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Byakuya. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. If I were Makoto, I would go grab all of that poison and move it to that secret room in the bathroom and hope that those two don't know about that room. Any good shows you've been watching? Um, the Witcher. Uh, I finally got Andrew to watch Dead Man Wonderland, so we watched all but the last two episodes of that the other night. I'm still working on Naruto Shippuden. Uh, we just got to where it's getting really good now, and uh, spoilers! I'm sure you know this happens at some point if you know anything about the show and you just assume that this is going to happen at some point, but Orochimaru is finally dead. So, that's pretty cool. Or at the very least, he's absorbed into Sasuke, which I have a feeling may have negative effects in the future. Hmm. And the Witcher, the Witcher's vision. I always voiced by Morgana. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Eat all the poison into the incinerator. That could work too, but some of that kind of stuff is flammable, so that might be a bad idea at the same time. If you're caught vandalizing school equipment, I don't know. 
He said, don't vandalize surveillance equipment. He didn't really say anything about the incinerator, but I'm sure Monaco wouldn't be too happy about that. I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Ah. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? Should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. Yeah. What was that? Ah. Pum, pum. No, please, continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't. Hey. Then what Come did you now. say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Your teacher has That's my room, you. you know. It is now, anyway. With betrayal? And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um... No, I was I was just kidding. Please, please don't get mad. Yeah, I'm not mad. What, what? You're totally mad. This is kind of depressing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's the rule now, you jerks. <laughs> the new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Is he gone? Oh man, I was scared for my life. I wasn't sure he was gonna kill me for serious. Well. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, and there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Unless we find the key or something. Miles Morales versus Static Shock. All right. I think we could probably check that one out. Because uh, I'm not really invested in anything that has to do with those two. I don't know anything about Static Shark. I know some things about Miles. <laughs> yeah, we could check it out sometime. But stick it in the request on the Discord if you haven't already, dude. <laughs> Or if you see someone else requested it, just give it a thumbs up. The bear sounds like Double T. <laughs> a little bit. Ed! Don't break down the door, Ed! Didn't know you are playing Danganronpa? Hell yeah. I've been playing it for a while, but I keep going very long periods of time in between chapters before I play again. Said he couldn't break down the door, he never said anything about picking the lock. That too. That was my night. My night's been okay. It's been uneventful up until now. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words. What startled you? I don't think that's a spoiler, that's just music girl pointing out a loophole like I did. If we find a key or pick the lock, it's technically not against the rules. There's been stuff like that in the game already. If Hiro was an anti-vaxxer, he wouldn't have been dead long before Dang Around happened. <laughs> yeah, probably. Or at least if his parents were anti-vaxxers. Just like everywhere else. <sighs> Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Um, Kyoko. She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? Right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. What? What the fuck, you know? Alright, this is bad. Hmm. I mean, it is my fault, but still. It's Makoto's fault. I was gonna tell her, but he was like, no. So, has everyone said what they needed to say? Hmm. I think so. Are serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh, I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That, that's no, I have something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? 
Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture. Almost just like that one. Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering on the windows. Ugh. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka? But... I think it misspelled Sayaka's name there. It said Sakaya. <laughs> but how can that... Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. Like, we're all in a simulation! That's what I'm going with, that's my theory. We're in a simulation. I'm sorry, Oxy. Hugs for Oxy. At least you're coming to my show this Friday. <laughs> we'll have a good time and rock out. You're gonna like Chad's band too. Chad's band is like the most high energy punk rock band you'll ever see in this area. Can't be, it's a fake. But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then. then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died. Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. But that's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on! Come on, guys. Stop fighting her, or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya, <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone, you're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough, your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Pyakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. That sucks about Kobe. It's really messed up. Yeah, Chad's a really cool dude. You'll like him. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say to you? What's your problem? I already heard it with Master. <laughs> With Master! Ugh. You didn't have to keep saying it anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up! Stop bothering me! How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Oh, well. No! I made Master a promise! Mm. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> if it's what Master wants, I'd do anything he asks. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. But you. Hey, guys, what's going on? Um, we'd like you to move. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. 
First Omega Masochist, now Super Sadist. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let me use the laptop. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! How about that? Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. One drop to your knees, two beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you, will you please let us use the laptop? Oh, I'm on fire! Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness! All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. Oh. So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. And that should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay! Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were in this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way, resting on the keyboard. My hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single orb was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found? Leave it to me. Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find, and one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. But that's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh? What? Wait, hold on! Then the reason we've been in prison here... It was the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way! It was... the school itself? It wasn't. That was what she said before. <gasps> it doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Yeah. Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, well, Post Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope Speak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope Speak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey! And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Goku had typed their questions into the computer, and the answer we got was... Sorry. All right, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I think also that the tragic event was actually something of the apocalypse. Or something, like, super apocalyptic shit. And they're actually here also because... Outside is just gone. Which would explain the weird pictures of, like, the places their families were supposed to be and stuff. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? What? Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh wait, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the Mastermind. The Mastermind? Goku's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the Mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that's still I, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading... The Hope Speak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Speak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster is here in the school? Okay. And that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, Perhaps. right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. We're serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. 
So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why, I just know that I have to find him. She has to. Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then... We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Um, well... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste of Fumi or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um... I see. Certainly I knew this was a possibility, but... Okay, it really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job, thank you. I see. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay. And maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Please watch r slash murder by words. If you want to um, pick a good one out for us, put it in our request channel on our Discord. The link's in the description to our Discord. They escape and it ends up being a utopian society in some Jetsons future. How long have we been in high school? <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, I haven't decided because I don't really know the difference between them. I'm probably... Uh, Oxy has played like all of these and I'm probably going to ask her and see which order she recommends. Play them at the same time because they spoil each other. Hmm. That would be difficult unless Oxy's played them both. And maybe she can remember and tell me how to, uh, like, go back and forth between the games to play them in the best way, but I'm not sure. Playing UDG spoils one of the big twists in DR2, and DR2 only spoils some pretty minor things about UDG. Eh. My thoughts on Baby Sonic? I didn't know there was a Baby Sonic. <laughs> Laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. You won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But, but I feel kind of sorry for him. But you feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well. I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when you talk to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean, I feel the same way. Hey! Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that, but it's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... So, anyway... What? What? Don't so anyway that! That's a totally smart, cool thing I quoted from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was, but did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... That's what makes me think that it's been like a year since they even got put in the school and they didn't realize it. Like, they were unconscious for a year when they walked in. 
I think everything outside went to shit during that time. It's like they knew it was going to happen and they put them in this place to like keep them from getting blown up by it or something. But I don't know, this is this is strange, very weird. GG's after one before two. Yeah, that's true. Like, order of release is usually what I would go with. I think I have played a little bit of Ultra Despair Girl, so I'll probably have seen those spoilers, if I had to guess, but, eh. I don't know if I played it or if I watched Oxy play it, one of the two, but... Yeah, that, that's why I also have this theory that, like, everything outside is kind of fucked up and apocalyptic. Anyway, that event led to the closing of Hope Speak. If nothing least. else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. <laughs> Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However, that kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. <laughs> then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew what the, uh, that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. Correct. We have to find him, we have to make him tell us everything. No as long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko, when she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh yeah, good idea. Yep. And I... Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Yaku's gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um... Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away! It's pounding with anger! You're not still mad about that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't even... That little matter doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. I feel it building. Yeah, My head's I'm about to boil over with rage! <laughs> Please. Don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. Pum, pum. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? Be careful, he just chanted the incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? My pressure is so great, thank you. I try. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. So I wonder Correct. if somebody did something to Monokuma, like Byakuya. What's up, Kuramuro? Oh yeah, Ricky, she has to. She is Toko, and she is Genocide Jill, which is a prolific serial killer of men. What's up, Daniel? Not a whole lot. Mastermind is Monokuma. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking this whole time. I'm like, the Mastermind's Monokuma. So it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime role, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um... I agree. It's true. Very well, then. In that case, time for bed.
Where's Nate? Uh, he's at the wrestling school chat. They're doing wrestling stuff today. So everyone headed back to the rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Actually, Nate might be outside because I just heard a uh, honk honk thing from a car. Once I got back in my room, we got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope Speak could plan all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. Or, okay, so, outside of my simulation theory, they got to the school, they had a normal school life for a bit, then the tragedy happened... And they put the ultimates under and brought them back in this bunker school. I still don't know why they're having them play a death game, because you would think if they're like some of the last people left alive, they would want to keep them that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, these high school kids are the best at what they each do. Uh, they're locked in this school. They tell them in order to leave, they have to murder one of their classmates and get away with it. <laughs> My brain is super fried, to be fair. My joke's probably going to be pretty terrible. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> so, make sure you get your homework, right? Don't, don't let the stream distract you too much. I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Is there going to be another Persona stream? Yes. So the thing about the Persona streams right now is my save data for the streams, I've already moved from that PlayStation back there. I think you guys can see that. I moved it from that one to that one. And no, there is not hand lotion on my desk for weird reasons. Don't make jokes, please. I have very dry hands. I swear to God. I, I do not do anything unsavory in the streaming office. Um, but yeah. The thing is, is that the game is on Nate's PlayStation back there as his main PlayStation with the, like license for it or whatever i have to get him to transfer it to that one because that one won't let me play it right now either that or i have to buy my own copy of it so that's why i haven't played it in a while um i will get him to move it eventually or something probably here soon because i only have a few more months until the real comes out so and see there are no tissues there's only lotion so yeah exactly thank you Del. let's talk a bit about where i was before i became a bear at first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out... It wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself, plus someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we could do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. That's hilarious. Manta shrimp can really punch, to be fair. Yeah, I've seen videos of those. Imagine if he was a shrimp. That would be weird. And fire that lady. 
Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I would hate being at the school because I freaking go to bed at like 6. I usually wake up at like 3 or 4. <clears throat> right. Yo. <sighs> I need to head to the dining hall. Right. Everyone a second ago, I was like, uh, somebody was like, where's Nate? And I was like, he's at the rest of the school. And I was like, actually, he might be back because I just heard a beep beep outside. Yep. And uh, everybody was like, prepare your Hey Nate uh, posts. Daniel Scott uh, just said, Hey Nate. <laughs> there it started. Recently, I found out when Danganronpa 2 came out, they sold three foot tall Monokuma plushes, but stopped selling them almost immediately, and it gives me despair knowing I'll never have one. Damn, that sucks. <clears throat> it's like, hey, he's back. Nate, question mark. Hey, Nate. Sup, Nate. Nate cameo. Sup, Nate. <laughs> What is this, the game? It's Danganronpa. A bunch of kids are trapped in a school. If they want to leave, they have to kill one of their classmates and get away with it. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your problem? What, do you think your eyes will rot just by looking at me? Fine, then don't the look at me! Ugh. I think she's just surprised to see you at the breakfast. Or I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting. Is all. Mm. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um. Yeah. What made you change your mind? <laughs> Yaki has said he <laughs> likes a girl to have some meat on her bones. So I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Hina. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Mm. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirtlandia. You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> Sh shut up already, you know? You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Huh? Shut up. <gasps> you and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Oh. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight <laughs> extracurricular activities only put us in even more danger. Please! Stop it! You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk tight. Going for all that extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. And, and... Ah, it's amazing! Indecent ideas are coming to me one after another. So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from all her pinup frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. I can talk to Sakura right now or not. Um, Sakura? Mm -hmm. What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, ah now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to get, uh, trying to win Sakura's heart. <laughs> are you in heat, Makoto? Don't care who they are, as long as they've got the right equipment. Just the worst. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Well, 
Can our talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. Ugh. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... Oh, what's up, sir? It must be because of that battle. Um. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it! That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey! You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay! Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. <sighs> Neat. I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Oh, well, how come? What's your problem? I don't problem? usually eat in front of other people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my dad, mom, and my mom. Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. <laughs> That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that <laughs> disgusting mouth of yours. Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. So what is a what is Aoi been doing that Toko is talking about? It's fucking weird. If I don't, Toko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. Uh -huh. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw, but in a way I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Free time. I think I could fast travel, but maybe I remember it incorrectly. Maybe I can only fast travel if there was a person there. <laughs> Favorite character in the game? Um, I think probably Kyoko so far. <clears throat> Can't remember the trick someone told me. I like to put this at a certain percentage or whatever, but I'm not too worried about the gifts at this point because there's not a lot of people left to hang out with. Spend time with? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, thank you, Alex. First video of motion sensors of yours since I subscribed turns out to be a live stream. Well, hell yeah. So make sure you go back and check out the other uh, 
I think I'm on the streams before this. There's like three or four of them. I started this game New Year's of last year or so, going into 2019. So it's taken me a while to finish this one. I don't always take this long to finish games, but sometimes I do. I don't always take forever to finish a game on live stream, but when I do, I take over a fucking year. Soccer will hang out since so she said she was resting. Wouldn't really make sense. Coco's mad at me. I always being a jerk. Yeah, let's hang out with Hero. Screw it. Yo! Oh, it better not be my life. Don't kill me. Help me. After life, protect me, Makoto. Kill someone if you must, but don't kill me. Hmm. Well? Well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmogony? Looks like Nate is playing Modern Warfare. <clears throat> Learned about all heroes' theories on the origin of the universe. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Let me find the gift list real quick. It's been a while since I had to look it up. And one power gift. Cover, they come, they come in full stride. I don't know if I have any of the stuff that he loves or not. Quality chinchilla cover. <laughs> That should be like the tagline for Modern Warfare. The one time. Modern Warfare, the one time I don't check there. Oh. Oh, I don't have that. Shit. I'm gonna give that somewhere. Oh my gosh! There's so many of them. <clears throat> That's another one you can do. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. So I have to settle for something he maybe likes. What? I've always wanted one of these. A couple noodles. My god, my Buddha, my Makoto. I'll never forget what you've done for me. I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. Could it be? Hey Makoto, you know what I think? You and me meeting like this, it wasn't a coincidence. Mm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm gonna give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. A discount? How about that? Normally it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it 900. That's only a hundred dollar discount, and even then it's way too expensive. Don't be mean. 
Hey, come on! You should count yourself lucky that Ultimate Clairvoyant is willing to tell your future. So, are you right pretty often? Well, I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got a 20% chance of accuracy. 20%? That sounds pretty sketchy. What the heck? For real? Don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, no you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um... How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see it? Well? <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. I refuse. Denied. Don't like it. I'm right, right? It doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. 20% accuracy, you said. You know? At least. I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discounts. That'll be $1,000, please, don't worry, you can pay me after we get out of here. Wait, hold on. There's no way you're gonna be right, right? Hmm. If you like, if you like, I can do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? Let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Do I have enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. I can see how people could fall into that kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you. Whatever else happens, don't let him be right. <laughs> That's funny. Unlock the skill lost in thought. Nice. How much you want to bet the black croissant is a burnt croissant? Either that or it's dyed black, kind of like the stuff that they do at uh, like Burger King for Halloween with the charcoal stuff. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. So... I think what I saw... I love how this menu sound was the most annoying sound I could have possibly come up with. I'm pretty sure that Toko would like that. Let's just hang out at Toko, just so I can give her the pin. She actually counts as Toka right now, or if she counts as Genocide Jill. Huh? What's up? You want to go on a murder spree with me? It's a really good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack. Okay, so <clears throat> she doesn't count as Toka right now. There's a different gift list. Oh, oh boy, here I go kill See if I can come up with something, hopefully. What, 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 what? Want me to kill you or something? Oh, You're not even you close to getting me heated up. The time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost valuable. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Finally found a use for it. A present out of nowhere? Huh? I'm getting all flustered. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. A <laughs> burp didn't taste like wine. It generally happens if you drink wine. Attention! Attention! Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, 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 quickly! Uh-oh. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym, and he sounded pretty serious about it, too. This is gonna be his motivation, I bet. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. I'm. Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um. Jesus Sakura. Christ. So I have this weird feeling that Sakura and Hina have been seeing each other. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Hey, you tried money last time, I think. So that was what Celeste went for. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Hmm. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? <clears throat> Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? <clears throat> oh, no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <clears throat> no, 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 no. No, 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 no! <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, the reason I, I gathered you all here is so that I can get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Byakuya, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey! So, um... guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami! He said it so openly it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What, what did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What, what are you talking about? You're a liar! There's, there's no way Sakura is a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura are fulfill you... the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Chills, Roaster, chills. boiler, killer, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't <laughs> wait! Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? Um... What the heck? So what does this mean? What? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. That is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. Well, he's wrong. wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, then he was no! being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. Yeah! You've been lying to us all this time. Huh? It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's gotta be some some reason she didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. 
Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what he, she was told. <laughs> what? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? During their fight, I heard Sakura say... She's decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw that? The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the Mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. <laughs> How can we even be sure she really did betray the Mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff, and she's still doing exactly what the Mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay, then Sakura, if you really have cut ties with the Mastermind, tell us who they really are. <gasps> well, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. But please! She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? Uh, I was told uh, to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So, even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're, wrong. You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that! <laughs> you don't have to yell, we can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible! It's because you're not listening to me! Wait. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. Ugh. I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the Mastermind. What? I... You're going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Uh -huh. Hold on. What do you mean? If you both go, if you go, if you both go down. Hina. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. Later, Ricky. <laughs> but I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But. but... Sakura. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Sakura turned away from us and left the gym, and then... <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay, then. Sweet dream. <clears throat> Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is... Don't make me repeat Over. Myself. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! No, Sakura is not our enemy! Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? That's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Skipping the subtitles, yeah. We've seen that scene a bunch of times by this point. It's the same one as every night. Same one every morning, too. That's all good, man. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. I have a bad feeling. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byaki has said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? <laughs> As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. 
even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear! <laughs> but I don't, cause I'm a bear. Good morning, everyone! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'm worried about soccer. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I feel like there's a percent chance someone got murdered last night. Maybe not yet, but I'm not certain. I wonder if she'll even talk to me right now. Kelko, good morning. Nope. Still ignoring me. She really is she really that mad at me? But actually it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night. The atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Ugh. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Uh, Sakura's um... not here. Ah, oh, Makoto, are you okay? Oh, huh? what do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko, Byakuya, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind? Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What? What did you say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other, In other words, words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the Mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot! You really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Hmm. It Interesting. wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <sighs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. Hmm. In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Slack. What the hell? You disgust me! You're... you're a monster! To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die! <laughs> what? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> Stupid cow, how dare she? She should die a thousand deaths, no, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya, and all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning, someone that added... Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play with and you. And I will happily elude its attempts. 
So, um, you know, how about we, uh, eat? Or maybe now's not a good time. You know? Huh. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Don't give me free time right now. So, what should I do? Really? You're going to give me the option to hang out with people when the tension in the air is this freaking high. Like, okay. It's starting to not make sense to hang out with people at this point. Like, nobody trusts anybody anymore. Especially since I'm pretty sure like the interactions are preset, they're not gonna like fit the mood of like what's going down right now. I wonder I wonder if Toko is Toko or Genocide Jewel right now. And I can't fast travel. Yeah, shoot. Oh, what's up, Yaku? Be streaming the second game when you're done? Yeah, most likely. Uh, I have to get a hold of it first, though. So I don't have it. That's actually quick. When are we ever going to get out of here? Not that I'd have much to look forward to if I did get out. What's your problem? Oh, pity. Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? Toko and I grew a little closer. Hopefully they make the gift in the system more easy to use in the next games. Forgive this. I'll never forgive you for being this nice to me. Seeing Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. She's just standing there. Does she want something? She's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko? What, you want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you. It's a talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? What do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Huh? What did you just say? Um, after that part about being trapped, we're gonna be... What? Uh, friends? Hmm. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me? I've already been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway... Come on, you don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me, even I know that. No, that's not true. Eh, Fine, then the tell heck? me. Tell you what. You know what they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Mm. And tell me what I'm good at. Tell me, tell me what my genre specialty is. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre that Ultimate Writing Project specializes in is romance. It's romance, of course. Oh, you're actually new? 
Your base, biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of all the hottest men poles, right? How did you know all that? There's no way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. Yeah! Toko ran off, screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Vocabulary. Cool. I have access to a PS4, obviously. Alright, who to hang out with now? Chat, you decide. So I can't decide who makes sense to hang out with anymore because the story is just so tense right now. I don't even know if I can hang out with everyone. Kyoko? See, Kyoko is mad at me in the story right now, so I don't know if she'll hang out. Also, I think I've maxed Kyoko's report card already, actually. Yep, Kyoko's done, so I think I have to hang out with somebody else. So we got Byakuya, Hiro, Aoi, Toko, Sakura, and that's all that's left. Aoi? Yeah, if she will, she's been acting super weird too. Not weird, but you know, just upset. She thinks I made some weird advance on Kyoko. That's why Kyoko's mad at me. I don't know if I have any presents I really would like or not. And I'm really sorry, but I kind of want to be alone right now. I've got a lot I need to think about. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I don't know if soccer would hang on or not. I'm sorry. I appreciate the thought, but I like to be alone right now. I need time to myself. I need to think. Although that's one skill I haven't developed too much. I bet Kyoko is going to be the same way in that case. I would almost guarantee it. And plus, I've already maxed her, so it's Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. Yakuya? Okay. He's in the See, I thought Ayo was genuine up to this point, but now that Toko's saying weird stuff about her doing stuff behind everyone's back at night, uh, I, I have an obvious guess at what it is, but it's just like, why are you lying to everybody, you know? Hmm. Sakura and Hina. Finally, some action. <laughs> Things are starting to become interesting. What do you want? Huh? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Do you need something? That's fine. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge my attention. I hope you appreciate this. So I don't have anything that he cares for. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. I see. Oh, this is a rare moment coming from a noble family. I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Bakuya is so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. So, in other words... Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Tsukugami name. Uh, is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family, rather I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? <laughs> I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends, all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. I think that's called... Day trading? Yeah. You're talking about day trading, right? You were able to make $4 billion doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there, out, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? That's what I was wondering. Don't make me I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Hmm. Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Dracula's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Stonks. Monica, just Monica. If Monica ever shows up in another game I'm playing, I'm gonna freak the hell out. Still reeling from Gakuya's story, I went back to my room. Night time. It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay then. Sweet dreams of Night time already. The night feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. The music is ominous. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. It's gonna. The game knows it's making me struggle to pick who to hang out with right now, and it's gonna kill somebody tonight, I guarantee it. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about to make you extra special, you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how is that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her announce. Uh, I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, "You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey?" Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey. But it's just some legend, hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! Good morning, everyone! It 
is now 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Crabs do have a place on my dinner plate. I agree. Need to do something about Sakura. Better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Whoa! Huh? Is that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Uh -oh. Somebody just get straight up murdered in the dining hall this time? Uh, Makoto, we got a big problem, man! What's wrong? Uh, Look! Here, his fingers shook as he pointed. Oh, shit. Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! What? She's not dead. Are you kidding? No, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh, well, Toko and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table and that led to a sneeze. Or, and that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? They might be flat, but at least mine are real. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally not adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then. Let's get Hino to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero. Help me. Uh, um... Sure thing. <laughs> wee -hoo, wee -hoo. Genocide Jack's braces laugh, chased us out of the room as we carried Hino away. <laughs> we have a problem, I'm stolen to wear out of Doritos. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it was really just a scratch. <laughs> still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura? At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of control, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore because... Because... Because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears, and just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the doors to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges, and there she stood before us. Hina! Huh? Sakura! Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey! Makoto, Hiro, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me! It was Genocide Jill. It's all that I... It's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. Uh oh. Damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you! To leave me alone but hurt her. What is this? How what is you? this? <laughs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness! I can't forgive this! <laughs> Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! I don't hate you exactly. Uh, uh, Somebody save me! Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office, but just a second later... What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Hiroko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... Gather that something happened? Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... Uh, I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Nina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Us two that aren't talking. Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? 
Yeah, for you. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm that's sorry. Fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, and I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Oh, okay, thank you. Cool. She's not mad at me anymore. Whew. I want to talk to you about something else. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? And shall we get going? Well, the typical indifference Kyoko turned and walked away, setting up her space. Ah, Kyoko! I heard to catch up to her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. A dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right, it has to do with Alter Ego. But she said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego, he has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Um... Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers gliding across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. What is it he wants to ask Indeed. us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did he want to ask us? So, uh... Oh, yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work, but I don't want that. I want to be able to I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can get, all get out of here. That's right. That's what Master would want, too. So, to help everyone else solve the mystery of the school, the only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? So... I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... but still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm... If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. Hey... You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it, but... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. What? Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration, and he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now... If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the Mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. Room without a surveillance camera. A secret room. That's it, the secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera Indeed. in there, and I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the wall. However... However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. 
We'll also have to move Alter Ego, and then the Mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... Well, let's get started. It's going to be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> it tickles. Shh, you can't talk right now. I'm going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. G good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables on one of the desk drawers, so there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Later, Koromura. <coughs> Here's the thing. I forgot which bathroom it's in. I think it's the third floor bathroom, maybe? Hopefully. Sure, all the documents are gone. I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go, and make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful. I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'm going. So then. Be thorough. I'm counting on you. First, we have to find a network cable. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this room. Hmm. Found it! This is a network cable, right? Now I just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled up the laptop and connected it to the Ethernet port with the cable. And that should do it. Um, that's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Just leave the rest to me. I'll swear I'll find something. It might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So, so please, just wait a little while longer. I'm just hold tight and put your faith in me. So I was about to leave. I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're going to get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Makoto. What's up, Fire Makoto. Killer? How'd it go? Well... Went okay, but all the um documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. And there's nothing left for us. Goodbye. Here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore. That much was for sure. Ah, uh, Kyoko. What? Miss. Um. So we're just gonna split up. Why is that? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? Whew. Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. It's not what I meant. I just I had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done. It's true. However, like, the way things are, are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we? So. If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why I alter ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. Is it smart to leave the computer there by itself? That's kind of what I'm thinking. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kind of tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of all the stress of moving Alter Ego, but I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all, I had completely dozed off. Huh? 
The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleep, sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Makoto. Makoto, get out here. Koko, what's going Indeed. on? Indeed. Hina just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. Sounds like something's happened. Uh-oh. Well, as soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Koto, Kyoko, Hina, what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There's a window on the rec room door, and I hurried to look inside, and when I did... Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past, and I happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. Uh-oh. Huh? So what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. We're going to force our way in. I just said... Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room door doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why? It would seem... It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, the store isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence, but that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom in the classroom. Use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please, hurry! Okay, you two, stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could, aiming directly at the window, and all it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair, leaning against the door. The chair is pretty heavy, but if I can just. I pushed on it with all my strength, and finally the knob turned. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I lay my hand on her... All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last slingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... weird. Neither of those characters look like characters huh? from this game. Alright, so I hate to do it, but I'm going to cliffhanger you all right there. So yeah, Sakura is gone. So yeah. Um, so that's a, a good couple of hour stream, and then we have the good part for next time I play it, which I know I've said this before, but I, it's going to be sooner rather than later, because I'm not going to cliffhanger it and then just not play it again for forever. I'm going to be wondering what happened myself. So, But I am going to quit here for tonight, since i got to edit and some stuff, and hopefully in the very, very near future, um, I will get to get back on here, and then we can do the investigation and the trial for it. So... So yeah, but thank you guys all for coming to hang out with me while I play tonight. Um, just keep an eye on the Discord announcements channel for when I'll be live next. Uh, make sure you come by our podcast on Wednesday, obviously. And I guess that's it for tonight. So you guys have a good night or a good morning, whatever it is where you're at. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.